Hi guys and welcome to Watch My Face. So today I'm going to go with my everyday makeup routine which is the makeup I'm wearing right now. And I tell you what products I use in the shower because um, that's part of my morning routine. Um, so it's kind of a morning routine video except um, I'm only going with through you, you with the makeup. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. This is my first video and I'm going to put up videos regularly. I don't know the schedule yet. I don't know if regularly is going to be every two weeks, every one week, um, or every day. Probably not every day because school's starting soon. So because of school starting, it probably won't be every day. It'll probably be more in the one video every one to two weeks. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. And yeah, so let's get started. So um, I've already showered. So my showering gels switch between these two. They're both from Body Bo Bath and Body Works. Um, this one's the Sweet Pea Shower Gel, and this one's the Lemon Pomegranate Cream Shower Gel. This one's from the new um, Artisan Collection, I think it is. Um, I don't know. I just I recently bought both of these this summer, and as you can see, I've used more of this one than this one. I've only used this one once, but I really like the scent of it. It's really fresh. I've had this one before, um, and it's just a nice smelling um, shower gel. Then every day I shave with my Venus Breeze razor, and I like this one because it has built-in um, shaving gel, so you don't have to use shaving cream or anything. You can just um, get your legs wet and shave, and it's really easy and quick. And then three days a week, um, I use the Flake the Soap and Glory Flake Away um, Body Scrub. I also like the Sugar Crush, I think it's called Body Scrub, um, but this is the one I have right now, and it's just, it's a sugar body scrub, so a lot of scrub gets caught here, and it's, I'm almost out of it. Um, I've added some water to it, so it's more, like, pliable, otherwise it's, like, really thick and really hard to, like, get around your body, I guess. Um, so every third day I use this and it's really exfoliating, um, but I make sure to use this before I shave. Otherwise, my skin gets really red and rashy because it gets really irritated. Then to wash my face, I use the Clean and Clear Morning Energy Skin Energizing Daily Facial Scrub, and this one's oil-free. I don't know if they're all oil-free. I just always get the oil-free ones. Um, I don't particularly have oily skin. I just don't like the idea of adding a whole bunch of oil back onto my face. Um, it just smells like a scrub and I'm like almost out of it, like literally probably like one use left. Um, and I really like this because it does brighten my face. I don't know how, but as you can tell, I have a bright face. So I really like this. So that's all I've done so far and I just put my hair up in a clip and a headband. And so now um, I'm going to add, add, I'm going to put on my Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. And this is 2% salicylic acid, um, so it's pretty strong and it's oil-free. And I just put this on the spots I'm having trouble with. And my mirror is right here, so I'm going to try to look into the camera, but sometimes I may look into the viewfinder or my mirror. So, um... I put it on the spots I'm having trouble with or where I've had a breakout. Um, so then I just rub it in and I always put it on my nose and my chin um, because I have some blackheads in that in those areas. So um, I just make sure to always put it on there just to help with that and it is also where I'm very prone to get oily as well as my T-zone. Though I don't put this on my T-zone because I don't really have breakouts as much up there as I do on my nose and my chin. Okay, so once I've rubbed that in, I'm going to put my Nivea Daily Essentials Moisturizing Day Care. Um, and this has SPF 30 and I just got this. I've only used it once. I just bought new moisturizers because I am out completely. So I don't know if I like this yet, but it seems pretty moisturizing. And I definitely love that it has SPF 30 because... Um, Sun protection is definitely a number one priority when I'm buying a new daily moisturizer. And it, I never forget my nap. And then I use this lightening eye cream, um, Dark Circle Diminisher. It has vitamin B3 and cucumber extract. I don't know where 
my mom got it. She just got it for me. Um, so I don't, I'm sorry, I can't tell you where it's from, but I don't even know if it works. I just use it because it's really moisturizing for my eyes since I don't put that moisturizer on my eyes because it irritates it. Okay, so after that, I put on my EOS lip balm. Um, this one's the pomegranate raspberry, and I really like these because somehow they're exfoliating. Like the first time I put it on, I'm like, oh, I don't know, my lips, like they get, they got really um, like flaky and a bunch of skin was coming off. Sorry about the doorbell. Um, but after I kept using them, they, they got smoother and smoother, even though they're like, a lip balm and they don't have any exfoliants in it, somehow it exfoliates my lips and just makes them really smooth. So I put this on before I put my makeup on so that I have really moisturized lips when I put my lip color on. So this is the makeup bag I have right now. Um, I just put like everything I use on a daily basis in there. Don't know why that was in there. Um, I have a couple different eyeshadow palettes in here. That's what makes it so bulky um, because I mix eyeshadows so it's kind of hard. And then I just have my brushes in these two. This one says, let me turn them around. This one says face and this one says eyes. So I don't know, I just thought it was a cute way to organize them. So I start out with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and it's an instant pore eraser. It, I see nothing, um, not a difference between this and using this and not using it in between with my pores but I use it because it makes my skin so smooth like it I don't know what it does it just makes my skin on skin on my makeup go on my skin like smoothly and I don't know I just love the way my skin feels after I use it so I don't buy it for the pore minimizing aspect a little bit of this goes a really long way. So I'm going to skip the parts out where I'm rubbing it in because otherwise the video will be way too long. So if I go from having product on my face to it being rubbed in, it's because I skipped it so that the video wouldn't be like super long and you would be sitting here for an hour. Even though it doesn't take me an hour to put on my makeup, I just usually don't explain what I'm putting on my face. So then I go with my concealer and um, the one I'm using is the e.l.f. Um, under eye concealer and highlight um, duo so it has the highlighter and the concealer um, and I really like this because I use this for my inner corners and then this concealer is really good and it matches my skin tone and it's really brightening so um, this one's in the combination of light and glow so the light um, concealer I really like and then I use the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer um, to cover up any blemishes I have, and this is in Fair Slash Light. Okay, then I'm going to set that with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, um, and this is in Peach Glow um, number 3. And unfortunately, I dropped it and like a long time ago, not just now, and my lid is broken, and you can see that this has been very loved, the pattern the pattern on the like that was pressed into it is gone and then I'm just using my um, I think it's Shani I'm gonna say Shani I, I don't know if it's Shani or Shani cosmetics brush um, this is the number six brush um, it's the powder brush and a lot of the brushes I'm using are from this set because this is like my first set and I don't have a lot of brushes yet so this is the set that I use so after that, I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyelid primer, and this is in sheer. Curl my lashes before I put my eyeshadow and my eyeliner on, just so, like, I've done it plenty of times with my eyeshadow on, and this gets really dirty. So I like to curl them before, just so that it doesn't get too dirty. So now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So I am using, um, currently, the uh, CoverGirl Quad in... I can't see the full name, um, it's something nudes, but it's number 265, so those are the colors, whoa, foam tip applicator, okay, those are the colors. Um, so I'm using this like rose gold color all over my lid, and I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush. And then with a smaller, um, flat eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to use this on the inner um, inner half of my eyes. Okay. 
And then with a crease brush, I'm going to use a mix of the darker two colors, mostly this color. And then I'm just going to put that I'm just going to put that in my crease. And my eyelids go in when I open my eyes, so I put some of the eyeshadow up here just so you can see it. So then it gives kind of like a natural, kind of smoky, but not like really dramatic. Liquid eyeliner, I cannot do it on camera. Um, so I just use the e.l.f. liquid liner in black. Um, can't do it on camera, so I'm going to turn off the camera and then do it, and then I'll come back with it. Okay, so I have my liquid liner on, and now I'm just going to go um, over my waterline on the bottom with this white uh, coal eyeliner pencil from NYC. So this just brightens up my eyes. And then for mascara, I use the Pumped Up Colossal um, Volume Express Mascara, um, the waterproof one from Maybelline. Don't forget the bottom lashes. Okay, so now that my eyes are done, I'm going to start with my face. So what I use is just a bronzer and a tiny, tiny bit of blush. So my bronzer is Physician's Formula in Bronze Pearl. So it's a pretty shimmery, I don't know if you can see, um, bronzer. But I like its color. So and I'm just using the e.l.f. bronzing brush, which is a um, tape, not tape angled um, brush. <laughs> Just laughing at the noises that my fish face are making while I'm doing this. So once I'm happy with my level of bronzeness, I move on to blush. And I'm using this Rimmel London um, Lasting Finish Soft Color Brush in Coral. Um, so I thought this would just be a fun color for the summertime um, instead of just a normal pink. And then I'm just using my Shani blush brush. So I just get a little bit on there. And just barely go over my cheeks because a little goes a long way with this blush. And then I just go over with this brush. I have no idea where I got it. I think it's a Bare Minerals brush. Um, it's just a, a soft brush. And just blend um, my blush and bronzer to get, and kind of together so that it's not like a harsh line. So now my makeup's done and now for my lips. So the combination I'm really into right now is Revlon's Lip Butter in Pink Lemonade. And the... Mentha Lip Shine um, from Bath & Body Works. Sorry, that sounds like a question. The Mentha Lip Shine from Bath & Body Works. Um, this is the Ultra one. I also have the Cinnamon and the, the Mentha Super. Um, I saved this one for when I'm wearing it alone. But I really like this one just as a gloss because it's clear and it adds really good shine. So now my lips are moisturized, but like they're not so slippery that my lipstick, my lipstick is just gonna fall off. So just in case, I like to go over with my finger and just like pat it to make sure I don't have too much, but they're still moisturized so that my lipstick goes on smooth and stays. So this is a really light pink. On camera, it's kind of showing up as a like a Cor peachy coral pink um, it's just a light pink it's like just like the packaging which is coming off peachy in the camera too of course <laughs> so 
So I like this because there's pretty good color payoff as you can see and it's really moisturizing. So it's not going to like suck the moisture out of your lips. And then I'm just going to go over the middle of my lips, well focusing on the middle of my lips, um, just to make them look like bigger and plumper and to add some shine. So I just put a little bit on. And then just go over with my finger. Okay, so that was my makeup done, so I'm just going to do my hair off camera and I'll be back. I decided to just go with a simple ponytail um, with a headband just because I like the way it looked and the, today's a very casual day, so yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you'd like. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And comment down below um, what your favorite lip color is. I'm very interested to hear that and what videos you'd like me to do next. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, I think that's it, so see, see you next time. Um, I don't have a video recording schedule yet, um, and I don't even have a camera, this is my MacBook Air camera, um, so I'm not sure what my next video will be, I'm gonna try to film it, maybe I'll do a get unready with me tonight, um, and check the description um, for any on every video for any details of the video that you would like to see if I put it in there like what can I'm gonna start doing the what candles burning in Abby's room come uh, in the description box so if you're because I'm I'm always watching people's videos and I see a candle in the background I'm, a, I'm always like I wonder what candle that is, so I'm going to let you know. So in the description bar, there'll be that. Also, the links to um, my main channel, so that you can keep track of all the videos, even though this is the first video. And, yeah, so thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.